Vector Recycling Unit. We will discuss the following topics. Vector Recycling Unit Introduction Five-Stage Process System Features and Operation Real-World Examples Imagine a world where a municipality can achieve their green initiatives that would enable them to pull up to a job site without water and jet lines continuously. Imagine a product that is capable of increasing productivity by 100% without requiring more people by using the water from the lines you're cleaning. This system uses a five-stage process. The main filter apparatus is mounted to the rear door. Vactor has basically packaged a wastewater treatment plant onto a truck. The first stage is one you are familiar with. The largest particles are separated from the water when they settle out in the debris body. The water that is left in the gap between the solids and the floatables at the top is the feed water. This is the water we want to use. Stage 2 is a coarse filter screen that is mounted to the rear door. The size of the various perforations is an important step for the rest of the system to work. It prevents large solids from entering Stage 3. Between Stage 2 and Stage 3, there is a positive displacement feed water pump mounted on the outside of the rear door. This automated pump takes the water that gets through the Stage 2 screen and forces it into the next stage of the process. A PD pump is here because we want consistent flow of water to the system. With other types of pumps, the output would vary depending on the amount of vacuum in the debris body. Stage 3 is centrifugal separation. Stage 3 happens in the main filter housing. Similar to the vacuum cyclones we use currently to separate the dirt from the air, the unfiltered water enters the outside of the filter housing. In addition to that, the filter inside the housing is spinning. The combination of the spinning and the PD feed water pump keeps the cyclone effect going within the filter. As the unfiltered water spins within the housing, the heavier solids are thrown to the outside and migrate to the bottom. The constant 340 gallon per minute of feed water pump then returns them to the debris body. Stage 4 is our filter. We know cyclones aren't 100% efficient at removing material. That's why our machines use a final filter in the vacuum system. And this is where our unique Stage 4 classification filter comes into play. This is an absolute filter. That means nothing larger than 100 microns can get through. As I mentioned, the PD feed water pump is forcing water into the filter chamber. The pressure that is generated by the pump also forces water through this filter. The small dot you see there has been magnified to help illustrate what 100 microns really looks like. This size is about the average of the diameter of a human hair. There are 1.5 million holes in this filter. Stage 5 happens in the upper right water tank. This water tank is dedicated to gray water. Some heavy materials, smaller than 100 microns and organic, that are deformed will pass through a 100 micron filter and settle out in the tank, which is the last step before entering the rotter pump. I would also like to note that there is still fresh water on the truck. The center tank, upper left tank, and lower left tank are still all dedicated to fresh water for when it is needed. Vactor purposely left them on because it maintains the versatility of the truck. 
No Water Recycler works in all applications. It also keeps fresh water on board for use in washing down the machine. System Features Recycling and sewer cleaning perform simultaneously. Maintains flows of 80 gallons per minute to jet rotter pump. Will allow intermittent jetting greater than 80 gallons per minute. System components mounted to the rear door. No need to enter the body for maintenance. No moving parts inside the body. Ground level access for washing coarse screen filter. Here is what the control panel looks like. Everything from here up is current 2100 plus controls, what the operators are used to seeing. From here down are the recycling system controls and indicators. When there's enough water in the debris body, the operator simply needs to turn on the recycle system with this switch. He needs to determine which water source he would like to use. He has the option of using only recycled water, both recycled water and fresh water, and only fresh water. And as he is working, he needs to manage his feed water supply. Managing the feed water supply, that refers to the amount of water inside the debris body. There is a float level indicator inside the debris body that tells the operator whether the debris body is empty or full. If the debris body full light is on, the operator can recycle the water and may consider pumping off the excess. The recycled water is leaving at up to 80 gallons a minute, but it's very likely that they are vacuuming water at a faster rate than that. If the debris body empty light is on, it doesn't mean that the debris body is actually empty. It's just that there isn't enough water to recycle. At this point, the operator will need to vacuum more water into the debris body. Managing the water in the debris body is a balancing act, but having watched these units in action, the effort is minimal compared to the amount of overall time savings. Good operators get used to the system very quickly. In addition to the consistent removal of material from the filter housing, Every 30 seconds, the feed water pump is taken offline and the entire filter housing is evacuated. This process is the air operated ball valve opens to vacuum from the debris body. Material out of the bottom of the filter housing is pulled to the body. The pipe open to atmosphere allows air to enter the center of the filter, pulling material off any of the holes in the filter. The ball valve closes and the feed water pump then returns to normal operation and the filtering continues. This all happens automatically when the recycle system is on. There are no actions needed from the operator. The classification filter is continuously cleaned automatically. This video shows one of the automated back flush processes and we will repeat in slow motion. The recycling system has a self-monitoring filter. It contains both a high pressure and a low pressure shutdown. Once the system sees the spike in pressure, it will back flush the filter housing two times and attempt to restart. If the condition still exists, the controller will shut down the recycle system. At that point, it will need to be cleaned. There are multiple provisions on the rear door to do that. In our experience, this is a rare occurrence, but it is a protection for the system. 
The low pressure shutdown is an indicator that either there isn't enough water in the debris body or the coarse screen filter on the rear door is restricted and the feed water is not getting to the feed water pump. Clean out. Dump as you do now. Rinse the screen on the rear door. Drain valve locations. Five on the rear door. To drain for storage or freezing temperatures. For storage, suggest putting clean water and body in running recycler. Clean outs in case grease blinding the filter. Handgun hose connection. Or for plugging to the PD pump. Drained for the gray tank. Handgun hose connection. Clean out for gray tank. Real world example, San Antone. Between August 2015 and February 2016, 62,048 feet cleaned. 401,000 gallons of water through the filter recycled. Large diameter line cleaning, 30 inch to 60 inch. City of San Diego. Line cleaned, 30,456 feet. Water saved, 112,632 gallons. Cleans mainly large lines from 30 to 45 inch in diameter. Operator's perspective. Testimonial. Saves about eight water fills a day. Saves eight to ten setups and breakdowns a day. Previously took two days to clean 700 feet of large line in downtown. Now four hours. Simply safer now. Going back to the old way is going to be painful. Recent dental performance summary. Conservative yearly savings, based on four days a week times 50 weeks. Four to five fresh water fills saved a day at 1,500 gallons per fill. Water saved 1.2 million to 1.5 million gallons. 30 minutes per fill up. Time saved 400 to 500 hours. Decant time 15 minutes per hole, time 10 holes a day. Time saved. 500 hours. The benefits of having a Vactor recycling unit. Green saves purified water. Water is precious. Limited hydrants. Image related. Productivity up to twice as productive, more with less. More line cleaning. Fewer overflows. Wasted time breaking down to fill. Wasted time driving to the hydrants. Decant time, automated system, quicker payback, powerful return on investment. Vactor's recycling unit for the future of water conservation.